Hey guys, Swarzide here for another part of Pokemon Red. And this time we're about to actually fight our rival. We're all healed up and set to go. So, we'll get right on this. And surprisingly, for once, I actually looked up the Pokemon moves. Oh my gosh, I've never... <laughs> seems like I never remember to do that. Yeah. I don't really believe you, because you've evolved four Pokemon. I've evolved... What is it? Two now? Yeah, I've had two evolutions. And my caught count is at 26. So I don't know how you could have possibly gotten 40. You could have two above me. So Pidgeotto, Gust, Sand Attack, Quick Attack. Not a big deal. As long as you avoid the Sand Attack and keep it below. Drake wants to learn Dragon Rage. Awesome. Yes. Oh. Splash can go die in a fiery pit. Although it might actually do well there. Uh, and then he's going to go to Raticate. Uh, normal type. And actually, I want to show off Dragon Rage. Uh, Dragon, or <laughs> Dragon Rage has these moves. Yeah, Raticate has Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, Hi Hyper Fang. Dragon Rage is a dragon move. It will automatically do 40 damage regardless of type or anything like that. Which, obviously, the Raticate barely has more than 40 health. So, you got that going for you. And then we move to Kadabra, which is, is Abra's evolved form. Um, Kadabra, very high special, so we want to use physical attacks. It has teleport and confusion. So it just got an attacking move. Terrible defense, so a well-placed <laughs> hit will destroy it. And then I'm going to switch to Sean for his War Turtle, which is his Squirtle's Vault form. Uh, it has Tackle Tail Whip level Water Gun. It's Water type. If you picked Bulbasaur, he will have a Charmeleon with Scratch, Leer, or Growl, I can't remember. And that, actually, no. Scratch, Growl, Ember, Leer. It has both. And then if you picked uh, Squirtle, he'll have an Ivysaur with uh, Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. So there you go. He's not very difficult, especially if you got high level team members like I do. So that wasn't too bad. At least I'm. Yeah, no kidding. And. Just a seasick old man. Yeah, good luck with that, Blue. So, now we can go up the stairs and talk to the man who's barfing into the garbage can. And then you rub his back and apparently heal him in a Pokemon Center, supposedly. And so instead of having him show us the cut technique, we'll get the actual usable HM. And there was no item ringing there. That was strange. So anyway, I think Farfetch can learn this. Yes. So we're going to have Ducks be our cutter. Because it's funny, and I did that in Silver. I had my Farfetch use cut. So anyway, now we can get off this ship. And move on. So I don't want to start the gym in this part, so we're going to go... Uh, Go explore uh, Diglett's Cave and the other side of it, where we can get a few really nice things. And another off the ship, long cutscene because it has to move. Actually, it's not that long, but it's still kind of obnoxious. They have to have a cutscene of it going away. And you can never enter the screen again, which is why you need to. If you want to go see the truck, you need to come back after, without getting without getting cut off the ship and then wait until you get surf. And you're forcibly ejected. So, before we go into Diglett's Cave, I, there is actually a nice little uh, strategy to get one of the Pokemon in Diglett's Cave. Which is actually going to... which This seems contradictory, but I'm going to buy repels in order to find a Pokemon. As strange as it is. And holy crap, we got a lot of money now. Uh. Let's get 20. Because that 
doesn't make much of a dent. And the other thing is uh, that my Drake getting Dragon Rage is a great move for catching Pokemon because it'll automatically do 40 damage. No critical hits, no nothing. So, uh, entering Diglett's Cave, you will find Diglett, obviously, and then it's a Vault Form Doug Trio. If you want to find, both of these are great uh, Pokemon for the gym, uh, as they are both ground type. Uh, Diglett, like I said, is ground type. We saw it back in Brock's gym a long time ago. And that one didn't have more than 40 health. Great. Uh, let's just go for the sleep thing. Uh, anyway, Diglett can use uh, a lot of um, cutting moves, surprisingly. It's never been shown to have feet. It's been alluded to in the Mystery Dungeon games. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, they do learn Dig at a high enough level, so if you want a naturally learned Pokemon, if you want a Pokemon that knows that naturally without having to use your TM, hit it with Hypnosis. Uh, Diglett and Dugtrio are also really fast, which is kind of strange for a ground type, but I'm just going to throw a Pokeball because it's asleep. And we caught it. So anyway, Diglett is a great addition to your team, and it's also a great cut, cut slave if you don't want a uh, far-fetched. Uh, lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. So now, if your Pokemon are below like level 30 or so, which they should be if <laughs> if you're doing this at this point in the game, you can actually use repels in here, and that'll actually make it so you will only find Dugtrio, because Dugtrio appear in this cave at a very high level. As in, in the 30s or so. And I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna do this until my repel runs out, cause I don't want to be wasting. So just in case we find one, come on. But Doug Trio are. If you want to completely dominate the Vermilion City Gym, then find a Doug Trio and watch this be a Doug Trio. Oh no, just a Diglett. Would have been funny though. Oh, pfft. doesn't even have arena trap yet, and I still can't run away. And talking about rock tunnel, which is on the complete other side of the continent. So anyway, we end up here on route two. And that's a sign for Diglett's cave. But you can cut right there, and you can go right up to uh, Pewter City. And but you can go down here, and this is actually—it's not required, but it's very helpful. Uh, in this house, uh, it says you can use HMs even if your Pokemon is a s or is knocked out. And in this place, you can trade. You can trade Abra for Mr. Mime. So, buy Abra that helped us get Mew. And in return, we'll get another Psychic type. Which is... Uh, Debatably a lot less useful than an Abra, because if you think if you think just Abra, it's anything's more useful than an Abra. Well, almost everything. But if you consider the fact that Abra can evolve, you don't think so. So anyway, we get Mr. Mime. And Mr. Mime is a psychic type, like I said, and it specializes in uh, barrier type moves. Which will reduce damage for your entire team. I think it'll have those this gen. No guarantees though. Anyway, right. You need to actually go into your Pokemon. And use the move. So you can just cut and you can get down to this guard house here. And apparently the door is only on one of those spots. Once Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through the rock tunnel. Which this aid will give us. If you've caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon. Which is not hard, even if you, uh. It's not hard even if you haven't been catching a whole bunch of Pokemon. It's fairly simple, especially if you're training only a few. You can easily get 10 by evolving. 
And you can come down here and you can get a moonstone and an HP up. And I think that's everything. And you can go all the way down here so you're almost in Viridian City. It's also kind of a shortcut to avoid the Viridian Forest if you're ever going up that way again. So anyway, we'll now make our way back and hopefully find a dug trio on the way back. Because that would be pretty sweet. And actually quite convenient because... Although... That'll leave us with one Pokemon left to get before we can get that uh, special item from that aid at the end of Route 11, which I kind of want to get before we go anywhere. So, I really don't know what I can do about it, though, which is the annoying part. So, we'll use Repel, and we'll actually get on our bike here because that'll make it go faster, even though I, I don't know which song I like better. Dungeon theme or the bike theme? It's actually a good question. Hmm. Repel's effect wore off. Hooray! Oh, I ran out of repels before I find one. They do normally appear at a 5% catch rate, so... They're not too rare, but they are fairly rare. And this is just a easier way to find them if you don't want to be running into diglets all over the place. Come on. There we go. And there's a Doug Trio, Diglett's Vault form. As you can see, it's level 29, which is three levels stronger than even Vakama. Oh, God, that's going to make hypnosis terribly inaccurate. And we hit. Okay, I'll take it. And... We'll weaken it a little bit. Or I could miss. Come on, hit. Perfect. Oh, God, confused. Yeah, not so perfect. Great. And as they are evolved Pokemon, they'll be harder to catch. Come on. No. Yes, stay asleep. Normally, this is the point where I'm starting to use Great Balls and stuff. But, we caught it successfully in a Pokeball, which is all I really care about. It's the Mole Pokemon. A team of Diglett Triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. And no nickname to Doug Trio. So now we can get out of here. So I believe that makes 29 Pokemon caught, unfortunately. However, I believe Drowsy Evolves at 28, so I think I'm going to be using Sean for most of this gym in an effort to evolve him before the end. Which would be quite convenient, because then we can grab that item before we move on. Because otherwise we'd have to backtrack quite a ways to get it. So now, let's, I believe we're about to fill up a box in the PC. Or if we're not about to... Oh, see, there we go. So if your box fills with Pokemon, it can hold. You can have 20 Pokemon in a box. You just go to change box and you switch to one of the boxes that are not that are empty. And there you go. Not particularly difficult. Repels effect wore off. Great. I did heal right. All right. So next time we are going to take on the Vermilion City Gym and hopefully win, which I assume we will because it's not too difficult of a gym. However, the puzzle can be kind of obnoxious if you're not lucky. So with that, I will see you guys later.